Hi, I'm Craig. Welcome to the Battery Shop. Today we're working on this 2018 Jeep Wrangler. The main 12 volt battery is right here under the hood because these newer Jeep Wranglers have start stop system and require an auxiliary 12 volt battery to power the system. It's located right here deep below this uh, computer box and you're going to have to take off a lot of wires if you want to go to it from the top but we are going to show you how to get to it through the underside by taking off the wheel and taking off a paneling and then you'll have easier access to get to that 12 volt auxiliary battery. Before we begin we always recommend checking with your manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions that way you're familiar with the project you have what you need you don't forget anything and you can safely and efficiently replace both batteries in a vehicle like this. Let's get started. Start by jacking up the right front side of the car. We recommend using a jack stand to do this safely and removing the right front tire. The next step is to remove the inner fender panel. Start by removing the push pins and fasteners. You'll need an 8 and 10 millimeter wrench for these fasteners. And then peel out the panel. Now we can remove the fasteners for the battery tray. There's two in the front and one tucked away in the back. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for these. With gloves and safety glasses on, the next step is to loosen the fastener for the negative battery cable using your 10 millimeter wrench. And then remove the cable from the battery's negative terminal and set it off to the side. Now we can remove the fastener for the battery's positive cable Again, using your 10 millimeter wrench. And then remove the positive battery cable from the battery's positive terminal and set it off to the side. And then remove the battery and tray and heat shield. We are reusing the threaded stud posts from the original battery for our replacement battery. and reinstall the threaded studs into the replacement battery. Now we're ready to reinstall the battery and heat shield and tray up into position 
so we can reinstall the positive battery cable onto the battery's positive terminal. And then tighten the fastener. and then reinstall the negative battery cable onto the battery's negative terminal. And tighten its fastener. Now we're ready to reinstall the battery and tray and heat shield. Now we can reinstall the under fender panel. Then proceed to reinstall the rest of the fasteners. and push pins. Finally, we're ready to reinstall the wheel Tighten the lug nuts. And lower the car. And we're done.